Yes lads, how's it going? Max here and today welcome back to episode 3 of the Tottenham career mode on FIFA 18. Series is going well, you guys are enjoying it, you're asking for more and I'm excited to keep this series going so let's do it. We're jumping straight into things, we've obviously got Manchester United coming up in the cup. So you'll have to tell me if you guys want to see those games played. I'm going to play this one obviously because it's Man United, I'm going to put out the youngsters. I might actually sim it, I'm going to sim it, all oh, but it's away at United. Do you know what? I'm going to sim it. I'm going to sim it. So don't hate me for that. I said I want to win trophies. And simming it is probably not the best way to do it. But I don't see why not. We're also going to do some training. Haven't done that yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Improving some younger talent. Because obviously you guys are saying in the comments that I need to do that. Obviously Tottenham beat West Ham yesterday 3-2. I couldn't get this video recorded because I had to go to a wedding last night. So I had a bit of fun with that. And obviously that's why my voice sounds a bit dead. If I sound a bit under the weather. But nevertheless... We're back. Willian has gone to Atletico Madrid. Didn't even know that for 50 million. Royce to Barcelona, did that just say? What? And Lamar to Spurs for 45 million, which I still think is a good deal. Needed to bring someone in with pace, so Lamar's going to offer that. Son's obviously going to be in contention with Lamar, who can, who's going to be playing. So it's whoever gets the, whoever I get the best out of. I mean, I love Son, so I'm not just going to suddenly drop him. But Lamar might come out on the right. He, Ericsson might move into the middle. I don't know. So we'll just see. It's all happening. It's all happening. As you can see, Harry Kane's buzzing that he scored two yesterday. So let's, uh, let's stop talking and let's go. So if you're watching this video and you haven't already liked it, drop a thumbs up. And when this hits 300 likes, I will release the next episode. I promise. I will. I'm sticking by that. I'm sticking by my guns. 300 likes and we'll get that done. But we've also got Lamella as well. I haven't even used him yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to pretend he's just coming back from injury. Obviously, I can use him on this, but we're going to pretend that he's has, he's still just coming back from injury like in real life. So we're going to get him to do some hard dribbling. So I'm obviously like new to the whole training scheme. I've literally just chose some random ones. Is there actually a way for me to see what training suits them best and what ones or do i just say this is what i want you to do go ahead and do it so i'm going to simulate these ones obviously let me know because obviously i'm new to all of this simulate drill now i'm going to simulate all and i imagine this is obviously where it counts down and tells you how they've done fourth we've got an a c's and b's across the board i take it that's good but obviously if i do that it will help increase people's values and obviously get them better so and i believe i can do that once a week so I'll do that. I'll keep doing that. Just had an offer for Toby Alderville, 47 million from Atletico Madrid. What is it with people trying to sign our best players? Like, just leave me alone. It's not happening. Away at Man United in the Cup. So what I'm going to do, I am going to play this, but I'm going to show you guys quick highlights because it's not going to be like a proper full-length game because obviously we want to move on. We want to get back in the Premier League. We want to stay top of the league, obviously. So if you're liking the way this series is working so far, obviously let me know. Um, obviously many other career mode channels do it a lot differently to how I'm probably going to be doing things but that's all. That's the beauty of it if you guys are enjoying it then just sit back get the popcorn and let's jump into this cup match against United let's go for a bit of a bit of a different line up we're going to start Lorente in the cup haven't actually used him yet we're going to give Kane a little rest we're going to start Lamar that's what I mean it's nice to be able to start these players actually we're going to start Rashford against his former club because Rashford has been doing well um, Fourth's going to come into the team for who should I give a little break? Who needs a little rest? I mean, none of them need a rest, they're all ready to go. Do you know what? Fourth's going to come in for Vertogden. Davis is going to come in at left back. See, obviously, we're going with a bit, I would say, a weakened team, but it's not exactly a ridiculously weakened team. It's still a strong side. Um, Lamella, welcome back to the first team. Ericsson, just pop you on the bench for Eric Dyer. Trippier is going to come back in at right back. So obviously we're losing a bit of pace. So actually, I better put Aurea on the on the bench instead of. I mean, what's the chances of our keeper getting sent off? So actually, you know what? Vorm can start this one, and we're going to put Edwards on the bench. 66 rated. We're going to try and obviously get him involved in the team in the coming weeks. So, mm, who can sit this one out? So, here we go. Quick highlights. Let's get this win. Come on, Moussa Dembele. Come on, lads. We're up for it. We're up for it. United going with a strong side. 
Like, it's quite surprising we're playing United this early on in the cup. United playing a strong side here. Lamar, what can he do? Oh my god, who's that? Rashford? Oh, Rashford ain't got that through ball in his locker. Try and get Lamar on the move. Lamar using that pace. He's got Valencia with him. Going to try and beat him. Oh, but I'm going to win that back. Oh shit. Foyf's coming across to try and tackle the Catholic. No, that's not the one. Trippier win that. Deli Alley trying to pull the strings. Oh, Valencia's out of position. If Davis can find him, but he can't. That's beautiful. No, wrong pass. Can Musa find him? Can Lamella pop? Ali through. Oh. Oh, Davis getting skinned. Marshall. Marshall hitting the post. First proper chance that United have had. And it comes from a back post header. Right. We find ourselves 1-0 down. Toby letting Lukaku whip one into the box and somehow it hasn't picked me up it hasn't let me clear that and it's a very weak effort and it's gone in we'll have to have another look at that somehow Toby just loses loses himself I don't know what happens there and somehow Vorm is beaten at his near post that is ridiculous what a sloppy start Spurs come on wake up Definitely underestimated this Man United lineup. Oh no, look, Davis is getting skinned as well. Oh no, what is that? Oh God. No words. Lamella sends Rashford. He's beating him for pace. He's gonna go across the keeper. It's one all. Marcus Rashford, that's brilliant. Never had any doubt. Fires it across the keeper. One or Old Trafford. Don't know what that celebration is all about, but we're back in the game. Spurs fans are going mental. And the way he just pulled away, that was too easy. Great finish. Rashford scoring against his former club. I wonder how they feel about that. But it's one all. Mate, Valencia is causing me problems down here. Oh no! Look, they're just walking. They're walking through. <sighs> Holding the play up. Can he, can he play him through? That's, that's naughty. It's Rashford. All he's got to do is... The less we say about that, the better. Lamar to Ali. Rashford plays through Delhi. And it's blocked. Lamar. What's going on? Oh, my God. Have you ever seen anything like it? It's whipped in. It's a great header. So you guys would have just seen that header. My camera cut out, so God knows what happened there. But we do take the lead just before half time, like I said. Dembele with a bullet header. We'll have to have another quick look at that at the end of the game because that was worth seeing again. Rashford gets us underway for the second half of this cup match. I can never pronounce it, so um, I'm just going to call it the League Cup. Lamar's picked it up. Rashford, can he turn his defender? He can. And I might have to up the difficulty. Some of you were saying that I would be able to play on Legendary. Legendary, so I'm gonna probably give that a go for the next game and we'll see see how we get on So I'm still in like testing phase at the moment, but I do feel like I can make chances reasonably easy Lamar you guys wouldn't have seen much of this game, but Lamar has been decent and this play brilliant Trips is on the move. He sees Rashford. Can he cut back? No, he's just gonna pop one edge of the box He's open Ali is open and he's made it 3-1. That should be game And I, I keep doing that celebration. No idea what it is Sanchez has been caught out of position. And I'll tell you what, Foyth came across and dealt with the danger. He's had a good debut, definitely. Sanchez just bullying Lukaku. That is what we like to see. Lads have played well. It hasn't been the most difficult game I've ever had, though. So I am really thinking about upping the difficulty for the next game at Burnley. Just need to make it more of a test for me. End of the day, it's Man United at Old Trafford. I shouldn't be able to just... Not breeze, but I shouldn't be able to just be this comfortable. Let's just get rid of it. That should be full time. And it is. Beating Man United away in the cup. Moving on to the next round. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Manchester United moving into the attack. 
gets his so here is that Dembele goal that was at the stroke of half time whipped in and it's a, it was a bullet header it was a great header keeper had absolutely no chance Somehow my manager rating has gone down. I don't know how that works when I just beat United in the cup. But moving on. Burnley at home in the Premier League. I had to think about that one. Sorry about that. I'm going to put it on legendary. See how we do. Uh, I'm going to go with our strongest lineup, And then, well, we'll obviously go from there. Rashford played well. Fourth was decent. But obviously we need our strongest lineup, And I think that's the one at the moment that we're going to be using. Right, here we go. Back in the Prem. Looking for another three points. We're at Wembley. We haven't got a win yet, so we're looking to make this our first win in the Premier League at Wembley. And it's Burnley, obviously. We drew this one in real life to a late equaliser from Chris Wood. Don't need to speak about that. We're back. We're time to change things. Let's go. I can tell already. Burnley are not messing about. Hugo Lloris isn't either with his first save. Now it's on legendary. I feel like I need to be a lot more clever with him when I've got possession. So, oh, who's that making? Oh my God, Son! How did you not throw that to Danny Rose? He was up the top in acres. Plenty of space in the middle here. Kane, cheeky back heel to Son, and he's just taken Son out from behind. Waters, come on, that could be a red card already. It's a yellow card. Right, main man Ericsson. He's gonna try and pop this one into the back of net. We're gonna go for a drilled effort. No idea how this is going to pull off, so we'll see it probably go nowhere. Just like that. A bit like classic Ericsson in real life at the moment. But we're going again. Danny Rose. He's going to whip one in there. And it's met by the head of Deli Alley. Cannot stop scoring. And he's done the classic celebration again. Danny Rose whipping it in. And we've taken an early lead. Just what we like to see. Danny Rose bombing it down the left-hand side. We are missing that in real life. And Deli Alley. Boom. 1-0. We are spreading the play brilliantly. Ericsson's just beat his man there. Bit of trickery. Oh, that is ridiculously good. Didn't mean that, though. Ericsson threading one through. Ali to Kane. Going to try and whip one over to Son. Son beats his man. He's going to go for the same trick. And somehow it's worked. From what I've just seen, that skill move fools the players. It works every time. This formation I've been using is working tremendously Aurea Eriksson to Kane Son I can see Son I'm waiting for that gap he's made that oh Good forward play from them. Kane that is a naughty Croy turn and that is a wow just wow we get to see that Cruyff turn again look at this and then the rest is history. Another goal before half time. We're making that a bit of a habit at the moment. Honestly, it's so comfortable at the moment. And Arsenal are beating Liverpool at half time 1 0. Huddersfield and Southampton are drawing. Burnley have just been bullied. They actually cannot get going to save their life. That, I love that turn by Kane. He does that so well. Kane, look at him. Look at the pace. It's too easy for him. And that is a finish of a world-class striker. Harry Kane. The guy's on absolute fire. He's also been hit in the gym. Look at him. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Definitely didn't expect us to be 3-0 up on legendary. At Wembley. And they've skied it. I could have got back in the game. H playing hold up. Look at him, look. <laughs> they, just, they actually just can't get the ball off him. Dembele. Eriksen. Oh, Lamar for Son. And Rashford for Kane. Standard process to see the game out. Rashford. He'll end up scoring because the defence is just so poor. <laughs> they can't even keep up with Kane, let alone Rashford's pace. Sorry, needed to burp there. Shame it wasn't like this earlier on in the season in real life when it probably should have been. No disrespect to Burnley at the moment though, but they have been shocking on this. They have been absolutely terrible. Haven't really caused me any trouble. That is the final whistle. We've got all three points at Wembley. Something that Spurs fans aren't used to at the moment. We just dominated from start to finish. Honestly, probably one of the easiest games I have played. Definitely. And I can't believe it was actually a legendary. Arsenal got the win at Liverpool as well.
That's a big result. So I've been going through some of the comments just before I wrap this video up. We're going to do a quick transfer session. Um, a few of you saying I should sell Lamella and get Mares. But as you can see, we're on the 28th of August. So the transfer window is literally going to shut. So I need to make some moves now. I've also been looking and it says sell Vorm and buy Alban Lafont. He has 90 potential. Train him. At the moment, I'm just going to keep the keepers. Lloris is number one, obviously, and Vorm isn't a bad replacement to have. I don't mind Vorm, so we'll, we'll just continue with that. But what I am going to do is try and get Maris, like I just said. Like, I want him, and I've also been looking, and it says... Also says Ryan Sessegnon from Fulham, who can be a good, decent, cheap youngster to sign who can progress. I feel a bit bad for Lamella, because obviously I said I was going to use him. I, play, I used him against United in the Cup. Um... But it is true what you guys are saying. Mares would be a better sign. So if I can get that deal done now and try and offload Lamella, that would be excellent. I've also recalled Janssen from his loan at Fenerbahce and I'm adding him to the transfer list. I've left it late. So that probably won't be happening in this transfer window. But we shall see. Hashtag bring back Bale has got 71 thumbs up. In another career mode, that might be happening. But <laughs> one, I won't be able to afford him. And two, I won't be able to afford him. So just before I approach to buy, it says he's valued at 27 million. They reckon offer between 36 and 55 to have a chance at this deal. If I can get him for 30 million, I think I'm laughing. So we'll go straight in. I'm going to offer 30 million. See what they say. They're probably going to say something silly like 58 million or something. 46 with a sell-on clause of 10%. Obviously, they're playing hard to get in the transfer window. How much have we got? Oh, we got minus 15 million. Let's probably not do this. Minus 15 million I've got to spend. What? How have I done that? Won't be signing anyone. Well, here we go. We're on to the last few hours of the transfer window. We're not going to be doing any, dis any business, any deals. Can't even get my words out this episode, so I do apologise for that. Come on. Someone come in for Janssen or Lamella, and then I can quickly make a deal. Oh, 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 oh. Office, please tell me that's a transfer offer. Transfer offer for Victor Wanyama. Transfer offer for Danny Rose. God's sake. Obviously, I'm not going to sell Wanyama and Danny Rose because I'm going to be using them in squad rotation, Wanyama. And Danny Rose is like the best left back in the league. So why why would I sell him? Roma signed Adam Lallana for 30 million. Are they mad? One hour left of the transfer window. And the transfer window is officially closed. As Jim White would love to say with his golden tie, Harry Kane, player of the month. Shock. Been banging the goals in. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Remember, if you go ham on that like button and you comment down below, give me feedback, there will be another episode up today. I'm, I have faith. Just have faith in me. I'm recording career mode all day today, so hopefully you'll be able to get ahead. Arsenal seal Lucas Piszczek for 17.5 mil. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.